Hi, I'm um, just playing around with this Vincent build. Uh, there's a hole in the back of the water bot where the tap went. So I've got to figure out how to fill it. And I've used polystyrene in the past and car body filler, but I needed something a bit thinner than I normally use. I tend to use this stuff. Um, and I noticed this morning from a joint to me that they're coming polystyrene trays. So, I'm going to hopefully fit, hot glue that in there, like that, and then using Jer one of Jeremy's techniques, um, I'm not going to so much car body fill it, I'm going to mix some car body filler and resin, so I've got a thinner mix, and that way it will stretch further and he still should do the job. I mean, I might have to put just a bit of car body filler around the, around the edges there. You know, as it is, not watered down with um, resin, just to sort of get that those edges flush, and that's it. So I'll get back to it after I've done it and see what it looks like. So I've hot glued the um, polystyrene into the gap there, and I'm going to put some of this resin um, thin down with. Well, sorry, car body filler thin down with resin. Get it right. I'm going to coat it with that and see how I get on. So I've coated over it now. Uh, we'll let it set. Might need another skim. Um, we'll sand it down and see how far I get. Okay. Anyway, with Jeremy's mixture of um, car body filler and liquid resin, this stuff comes out like plastic. I know it looks lumpy, but you know when you feel it, you don't feel like car body filler. It's got like a smooth, shiny surface. surface. So, and I've already sanded one lot down. Comes out really good. Just gone over it with the travel, got the thickness out of it, and um, the lines and whatever. And I found that this, as a mixture, is better than just car body filler on its own. It's, um, you don't seem to leave the little pit holes and the loads of lines I think you've hit on something there Jeremy it's like plastic on plastic pretty good <laughs> 